Chris Dunganier, founder of the Conscious Education Podcast. This is a live session filmed in our Magnetic Mind Masterclass, which is a coaching program. If you hear me uh, referring to some of the guests or talking to people, this was recorded when it was live. And so you're not able to uh, comment or chat uh, to me, obviously. Enjoy this session and uh, do subscribe or share it if you think it's valuable. Bye for now. So, so what do I mean? Uh, peace, peace, love, and power. Well, well, first, uh, power. Power is the ability to align yourself with the created, creative spirit that you are so that you can turn thoughts into things or turn the invisible into something visible. Okay, power. So, so power is electric. You turn on the power. Okay, you turn on the power, an electrical charge. Being able to align yourself with the truth, with, uh, with the source, with, with that uh, which you are, that's when you're powerful, when you're full, you're full of the power, the power to create. And, uh, and, and so we're going to talk about uh, power, we'll talk about peace, peace, being able to accept, to acquiesce to the current reality, to be in peace uh, in the middle of a storm, to be at the in peace when everything's going right and when everything's going wrong, peace. So it, to be able to get into peace where, where you aren't uh, dissatisfied with what you already have. Does that make sense? You're not dissatisfied. So, so we're going to talk about power. We're going to talk about peace. And we're going to talk about love. We're going to talk about uh, love, what it is that you love. Now, now I want to add to this word because I always say to people, you know, uh, choose end results that you love. And, uh, and I want to add to it because many people struggle with that word. Uh, choose end results that mean something to you. Choose an end result that, uh, that means something. They're just for no reason. It's just something that means it matters to you. You know, and I, I look at sportsmen and, or, or musicians, uh, you know, it just, it just matters to them that they win the title, hey? So, so you can change the word love with, with things that it just matters to you. It just, just matters to you. So, hey, look, it looks like um, we've got most of, most of the people that are here. Normally, we have about 100 people on. So uh, being in the, the 80s, I think that means that most people who are coming are here, which is good. So shall we get started today? We're going to go through uh, peace, love, power, the hero's journey. It's going to be a fun conversation. Uh, and then we'll, we'll, do some, we'll do some inner work. So uh, let, let's start off with a really big statement, the, uh, a really big statement that I think uh, this group is ready to hear. Um, the, the, you must be positive self-esteem movement, uh, only ever think positive uh, has hurt our ability to create what we love the i must always think positive movement has hurt our ability to create what we love big statement big statement the the movement of you need to be positive all the time and that positivity is the answer is is untrue it's untrue it, humans we don't actually want utopia we don't actually want uh just to just to have have everything everything to be perfect who's ever seen that movie um what's it called like uh is it called pleasantville do you just remember that movie pleasantville when they're all black and white You guys remember that pleasant though? Remember it was like a movie, and it was it was a funny movie, and and that everything had to be pleasant. I remember there was one part in it, and uh, something was happening, and they needed a lawyer, and uh, you know the mayor of the town or something said, "Oh, we don't have lawyers here; uh, they're just so unpleasant." <laughs> and uh, anyway, I thought it was it was quite funny. Um, but 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 there's a there's a real mistruth in this idea that our, our goal here is to create a bubble of comfort. Uh, I believe, and I, and I want to, to ask all of you, uh, if we were just given uh, 
everything as a, as a species, if we were just given it, here's everything, unlimited power, uh, electricity, everyone gets a beautiful home, e everyone's got everything that they want. It, you know, just everything's just there. It's just done. You didn't have to work for it. It's just done. I think the first thing that we would all do is, is find a way to break it up so there was some excitement. You know, fi find a way to create it, to make it a bit of a mess so we have something to ha have fun about again. Who, who, you know, who agrees that? Like, we, you know, as a species, uh, you know, as a species, wouldn't you guys all agree? Like, that's what we would do. If we all just got given just everything, you know. Here, here's your beautiful house, all right? Everyone's got a fast car. Everyone's got a this. You know, we just have it. We would find a way. There's this, you know, this sort of, uh, you know, I don't want to get political, but there's this, you know, certain ideas where, you know, we just have it all and everyone has it all, you know, we would, um, we would be bored. Who agrees would be bored? Spend 85 years and all you got to do is, is procreate, <laughs> nothing else. Is that, right? There's, there's, who agrees with me, right? Like, so this, this positive, we're, we're after, just only after positivity and you must always be positive. Uh, it, it misrepresents life and it misrepresents the truth. So if we're not here to, you know, you guys have all heard this story, uh, uh, work really hard and you can get retired. You can retire young, you know, or you get, you can have, I don't know, this, this idea that you can reach a place where there's nothing wrong. You've solved all the problems. Hey, we've solved, solved all the problems. Ah, oh, we've solved it all. As we all know, our identity would look for more problems. It's, it's simply not possible. Can everyone just accept accept this? Uh, it, it's it's just not possible, and it's just not true as well. So, what do we really want? What are we really after? Uh, I, don't, I don't think we're after utopia. I think we're after an adventure. I think we're after an adventure. I think we're here to go on an adventure. And then to get somewhere great and go on another adventure. And I like to call that adventure creating what you love. Now, what's what needs to be in an adventure? Hey, okay. let's think about adventure. What needs to be on a good adventure story? It, 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 there's simply there has to be an opposing force. True? It, it's no fun. Uh, playing a game against a bunch of people that aren't as good as you, right? I mean, yeah, you win. Maybe the first time it was cool. But after a few times, don't you want to, to get a harder game to play? Isn't that true? Like you think about sports or you think about, you know, whatever it is that, that you, you enjoy doing, you know, don't you want to go for a bigger challenge, do so, go in it. And, and so I, I think that this idea, well, everything has to be positive is, is, is actually denies our humanness. Because if you think back in your life about things that you, re, you, know, you really felt satisfaction and you, you had to go and create them, hey? And when, as you're creating them, there was, there, was, uh, there, was, there was circumstances and conditions that you had to overcome, hey? Now, uh, th this is part of the game, you know? It, it's, it's like there were things I had to overcome it and I had to make it happen. And, and I find this to be very interesting because uh, this idea that we're not, you know, that we must always be positive uh, or that, uh, you know, that, that even being positive is about raising your vibration. Uh, it's, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. In fact, most people that try to hold their vibration so high are actually just so scared of feeling negativity that they're on the pendulum swing. It's not the universe at all. It's, not, it's, it's just not. This idea of polarity, good, bad, and you can only feel good, it's just absolute shit, eh? It's just, it really is. And uh, I got, I bought into it all for years. And, oh, uh, well, I've got to, got to feel positive about this. You know, can't be negative, can't be that. But the, the idea that there's something wrong with feeling bad only puts you into a polarity with it. And so, you, you, you know, you find a, you find a life uh, where, where you're trying to hold off feeling certain things, hey? Well, rather than realizing when you're the creator, all things are fine. 
you know, oh, I can't feel that. I can't feel that. I can't feel jealousy. Or je you know, it, it's, uh, it, I've never met anyone that's been able to hold themselves into the positive thing and for it to work out well, because they're so busy denying truth, denying truth, denying, and they're actually not being positive. They're just scared of the, of this other thing. And, and so uh, the, the, what's interesting is, uh, there's always silent messages that you're, uh, that you're giving yourself. And so the silent message of I must take this positive is I, I'm, I'm happy to lie to myself, you know, something that you don't want to happen happens. And you have to try to feel positive because that's what life's about. Always feeling positive is, is it's a mistruth. And you're in the silent instruction that you're giving to yourself is I can't handle negative or I'm, I'd rather lie to myself than see the truth. And so it's, it's actually not what raise your vibration means. And th this idea that we're, we're aiming for utopia, this, this beautiful, comfortable bubble, uh, and this idea that we must always be positive are both completely incorrect uh, when it comes to what fascinates humans, okay? You know? Uh, it's just that's just rubbish someone someone's typed in i don't think you ever get to a place of saying thank you for the negative feeling it's just coming from such a scared energy guys and and it, it, it's a little bit hard as everyone's having a conversation in the chat box say eh? because uh you, you're trying to uh you, you're bringing yourself into my conversation uh and what that's doing is is you're helping yourself to not get what i'm sharing uh, you know, just, just helping here. It's, it's, uh, it, it's not about that. And I'm going to explain it. This whole, this whole focus on this whole focus on, on, on that is just the wrong focus. And so I really, if it's okay, can I explain it? Uh, let, let me explain it. Eh? Cause I know everyone's like, Oh, what about this? What about that? Just, just give me, give me a bit of time to explain it. So, so here's the first premise. Here's the first premise, is that life's meant to be an adventure and we choose it to be an adventure full of challenges we need to overcome. We don't choose it to just be this place where everything turns up and we don't have to do anything. What the heck is the fun in that? Second premise, we get to choose the adventure we go on. Right, there is an infinite amount of adventures or creations we could go on. Do you guys all agree? There is an infinite amount of them. There is, there, there's no way to count that. And you, you get to choose where you go, what you create, and how you're going to go about it. But life, a human journey, is far more like an adventure than some focus on trying to create a completely comfortable, no problem utopia because I'm so scared of problems. Does this make sense? Think about this. What fascinates humans? Sport. Sport fascinates humans. Okay, not all humans. I'm going to give other examples. Uh, movies, stories, romantic movies, stories about overcoming challenges. What fascinates, who do we look up to in society? People who have actually gone and mastered and overcome and completed. So let's look at sport, okay? Sport has a predictable narrative, okay? There is a team that's the, the team you're going for. There's a team that's against them. There's a goal, an end result. There's conflict. There's things to overcome. You don't know who's going to win. You overcome. And one half of everybody is disappointed, and the other half is happy. So there's a chance of disappointment. How about in a romantic movie, right? The romantic movie is typically there's more than one going for the, you know, for the, 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 the there's more, there's two people and then there's one woman, right? Two men, one woman. They both want to, you know, be with her. And she's normally with the wrong one, but there's this other guy that's amazing over here. Again, there's this idea of, there's, there's a challenge to overcome. And then, you know, one wins, one does, doesn't. We all like to be on the team that's winning. You know, all adventure movies, you know, you see Liam Neeson, you, you know, you know that he's going to win at the end. I still don't know how uh, uh, an, an average body type middle-aged man seems to be able to just beat thousands of people without sweating. 
I mean, if that was me, I would I would be drenched. He's I still in it, you know. <laughs> but uh, but right. So so it's it's amazing, hey. It's amazing. It's amazing. And, and so you look at the story, and you look at you know even the Star Wars story. Same thing. There's this whole idea. Can you guys see it? There's the the good versus the the not good or the opposing team, and and there's a challenge. There's a there's something at stake, and and we're there to win. Now, why would all human beings across all mythology, across all religions, have these same elements always showing up in their game, in their their art, in their storytelling, in their in their sports? Why would why would we have this if it wasn't us using it as a complete metaphor for what interests us? Why we're here? See, you know, why are we here? No one wants a sports league where one team is so much better than the other teams and they just turn up and win every game, right? That, there's no conflict. There's no, there's no creative tension in that. There must be something to overcome. And, and so a really smart guy, Joseph Campbell, was studying Carl Jung and Fritz and um, mythology, and he actually put this together, the hero's story. But, but I want to bring it into with you guys today. I think that life is more an adventure to creating what matters to you, to creating what you love uh, than, than anything else. And I don't think we can deny it. I think we get misguided by teachers who, who want us to, to, to experience life as this uh, everything's everything's just um, perfect and there's nothing to create. But the joy in understanding that you're on this adventure, this journey, when you get to this feeling, when you really know that the joy is in the journey, the joy is in the adventure, and you choose to have adventures that you have to overcome and then create. Do you see this? This is the joy of the human experience. The hard thing is choosing which adventure you want to go on, you see. And so I, I, I see these other messages out there and all this worry about, oh, you know, you've got to thank your negative feelings or you've only got to. No, guys, no. Focus on your end result. Focus on where you're going. And as you move... As you move towards your end result, you get to be met and, and have things that you must work out, overcome, understand, get to, do you see what I'm saying? You know, you get to, you get to do something that on the outside might look difficult. That's the fun of a game. That's the fun of it. Now, what if you could orient your way to life as a fun game? a game that you're playing. Now, when you go to get a puzzle, you don't want an easy puzzle that a two-year-old can do, eh? Like four big pieces. You just got to put four blocks this big together, hey? You get something difficult and, and you're going to figure it out. That's what you do. You want something difficult. You, you look for something. So you look for it because it's like, oh, cool. I get, to, I get to do this. Now, just feel the essence. When you, start, when you, when you stop denying the truth, and you accept that it's a fun game that you're creating, that you decided that you're going to be, and you're, you're ready and waiting for the challenges because that's what you're after. How does that feel? How does that feel? How does it feel? I'm just going to, this is, and, and, and to know that this is what will happen, hey? You know, and that our thoughts and feelings are just records of the past. Our thoughts and feelings are, are, are liars to us. And, uh, and they're going to try to take everything personally. And if you want to have an absolutely, uh, you know, fun, amazing life, you're going to have fun going on adventures to creation that you're really excited about. Because like, you know, life, life, is, life is this adventure. It's about going in and, and creating the next thing you wanna create, isn't it? And, and so 
we must remember that the the idea is about being on this journey and experiencing yourself through the journey, turning out how you're going, what you're going to become, but realizing that the hero's story or the or that the journey is is something that is it's probably the most human thing there is. Now there's there's a couple of huge statements on this call already. The human journey, the the adventure story, um, and I, I can draw it out, but you guys could also research it. I think it's probably the most human thing there is. Going on an adventure to create a new relationship, going on an adventure to, to create a new family, going on an adventure to create a, a new business or a, a charity or, or a new home or a new house. And then knowing as you go for that, there's going to be things you must overcome to get it. Hmm, think about that for a second. Think about it. What if to be human is to go is to to be going on a journey of creating to be on a life of adventure? Do you, do you, do you see the void of this need to to control ourselves and only ever feel positive? You see, the end. You know, the staying in your end result is the key. Staying focused. You see. <laughs> Thanks, Janine. I think that's a joke. Okay. Eh? Can you see that positively bored? Do you see that? It's very, it's very interesting. And, and notice how we uh, uh, we we put this into into our story. You know, uh, we we say to our children, we say, okay, you know, it's not about whether you win or lose; it's about how you play the game. You know, we say that. Isn't that true for life? Hey, it's like it's not really about. It. It's about how you play it, how you get there. It's about the journey. It's about what you become. So I'm very excited about this as a, as a topic because I believe pretty much every creation uh, that we have follows this, this hero's journey. It, it just, it just it follows it. it. Everything follows it. Our life follows it. The adventure, uh, you, you know, you're in for an adventure of a lifetime, but it, but it really does. So, so do you got, should I draw it out? I, I will. Eh? Uh, this isn't this isn't mine. It's a very well known um, body of work, uh, and um, anyway, uh, let me draw it out. Okay, so the the journey starts off in the the known the known world where where you know you 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 know you know what's going on, and you get a a call to um, a call to adventure. And this call starts to move move you on this, uh, you know, this this call where you're going to go. This here is uh, called the threshold. So you get called. There's some Garth, what's called threshold guardians here, which are all sorts of doubts. Uh, along the way, you meet some helpers and some mentors. And, and as you move through, there's this big moment of rebirth. Uh, you also get some challenges. Uh, also, sometimes it's called temptations. So you have mentors and helpers and challenges and temptations. And, and these can be, you know, in any order, uh, really. Then there's this, uh, this huge rebirth or uh, transformation. This big moment, this big moment here, the abyss. You come out the other side transformed. You learn, you learn how to overcome the big challenge. Once you learn how to overcome the big challenge, you end out on this other side and you have success or sometimes written as atonement. And then you bring that success, you find your heart or sometimes called the gift, gift of the goddess. You find your heart, you find what really matters. And then you bring it back home. You bring it back home to the to the world. You bring it back home. Now, th this is um. Uh, oops, I'm standing right in the way. Which way do I go? Go this way. So this is a very 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 predictable um, system, and I I just wrote it out very fast. Okay, if you want to type in hero story into hero's journey into Facebook, you'll get it. You start here in this known world, there's a call to adventure. 
you get called to something new. Okay, so we, we might call that a true choice, something you want to create. As you're creating, you're going to face opposition. There'll be challenges. And to get through those challenges, you'll have helpers and mentors. Then there'll be a moment. There's always a moment, whether you give up or you push through. True, you either, you either give up or you, you push through. Once you push through, you transform, you're able then to create success, you find your heart, and then you bring it back to the world. It doesn't matter what movie you look at, this is, this is how it is. Whenever you see, uh, you know, the NBA champions, right, they go through, they get to the other side, then what do they do? They get to come back and have a big parade. They bring it back home and the whole town goes, yeah, you won. I always find it fascinating, hey, that um, there's only ever, you know, one team out of 30 that wins. 29 other guys are the best in the world and they are just not happy. But, that, but this is what we're so excited about, you see. In, in adventure movies or action movies, we see one person wins, beats everyone else up. There's thousands of people that died and he's the winner. And, and, and this is this, this whole idea of us overcoming adversity and creating what we want. So, so let's just recap here, hey? Is it true? Is it true that for some reason, uh, this, this is what fascinates humans? Is it true? This is like this story fascinates humans. Is, is, is that true? Very true, isn't it? That's true. We, we, we cannot deny, we cannot deny that humans, as, as I've experienced them, you, this fascinates them, hey? That, that, that's, that, no one can deny that. What we don't know is, well, we don't know why. We don't know why. Hey? We don't know why. I think the reason why is because this is actually what it means to be human, to go on adventures, to face resistance and overcome them. I think it's what it means, hey? That's an opinion. That's not fact, is it? We don't know that's fact. That's an opinion. What's fact is, for sure, humans are absolutely um, addicted. Addicted. I'd say addicted to that. We line up to movies. Isn't it, it is, has it ever occurred to be quite strange to you guys that you can simply see the plot of a Disney movie or a romantic movie? You can see the plot, but you still want to watch it? We want to watch it because we want to see the conflict um overcome hey we want to see the tension and you know their i the the idea of the director is to kind of make it look like it's not going to work out and then obviously it miraculously does we love that and i believe that we love it so much that if we were just given this pleasantville happy positive everything here you go i think as quick as we could we would want to start to create conflict, create things to overcome, create games. I think I think we would we would make it as human as possible, as human as possible. And so when you when you think about this as structure, when you think about this as structure, and you go, okay, so that's the structure. That is that is really what I what 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 this is about. Okay, and. Uh, yeah, right on. It's structure. So we think about this as a structure. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a wheel. This is, this is what's going to happen. Every single creation you have, you are somewhere in this structure. You might be right at the beginning, just with the call. Hey, start a business. Hey, start a new relationship. Hey, do this. You might just be getting the call. 
you might be in the un oh, I didn't write this, but it says the known world. That this bit here is the unknown. You go out into the unknown that you don't know. You don't know what's ahead of you. That's an important part of the, the diagram. You might have just stepped out onto the playing field, hey? And you might be facing things you need to overcome. True. You might be right in challenges. You might have found a mentor, a helper, people to help or, or books or whatever. You might be in the rebirth where you've realized it's a transformation, the abyss, the big, the big dark before the dawn. Right? You might be there. You might be just transformed, ready to just step right into your success. So when we look at this and we and we put it on top of our work, we first start off with true choices, hey? We say, hey, these are your true choices, your true adventures you want to go on. And, and then and then we say, okay, great. So, so you, you got to create true choices. And there's four you should focus on first, because if you don't have these four, you know, these are the foundation. These are your orientating choices. And then we say, okay, so focus on it. We know there's going to be resistance as you're creating. The resistance that we can control is internal resistance so that you take the correct action. Does that make sense? We are going to work. Hey, Kat, uh, we're going to work on your internal resistance so you can take the correct action. And we know that when you're about to break through, is when you face the biggest stuff for you and then you you go ahead and you 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 treat that resistance and then you go through to success and you come out the other side and you have it all can you guys see how this maps on so every single one every single one of our creations goes like this It goes like this. It goes the exact same way. And we love it. Would have it no other way. I was reading a book of a, a famous uh, rugby player uh, from New Zealand. His name's Richie McCaw, best, best rugby player of all time. He won, they won the World Cup um, back to back. 2011 and 2015. However, in 2007, they lost in the, the quarterfinals of the World Cup. And they had, they had this big problem of uh, getting to pressure situations and crumbling. And they would get into these big, they were the best team in the world always, but uh, the 2007 World Cup, they lost in the quarterfinals. Uh, the one before that, they did pretty terrible as well. Where are my New Zealanders on the, the call? We all know this story. And, uh, and then they were able to transform. They won back-to-back -back, uh, world titles, well, uh, 2011, 2015. And uh, reading his book, you know, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of things in there. But there was something very important. What he said was, and he was a captain of the team, what he said was, they used to crumble under pressure. And then they changed it. They decided to realize that they chose to have the pressure. Their whole life, they had been waiting for the moment when the whole country was behind them. There's five points in the match and they've got to pass the ball. They've been waiting for this. So instead of saying, oh, I feel so much pressure, they're saying, yes, I finally get to have this pressure I've spent my whole life aiming for. And so they started looking around and going, guys, this is that moment we practice on the field as children. This is that moment. Remember, we would count the clock down loud and make the final kick. Do you remember how many times... We dreamt that there'd be 100,000 people in the stands and a million people home watching this moment. Yes. And the difference between they kept on losing and these very, then you see them on the field in the final, they've all got smiles on their faces. They're going, we're here. Yeah, this was what we wanted. We wanted to face the toughest guys in the world 
and we wanted to overcome it. We wanted this. We wanted the pressure. We didn't want to stay back there playing with easy teams. We wanted this. We wanted to be up against the best. This is what we wanted. And when they changed their orientation to the moment being something they had chosen, yes, that was the joy, the joy of then going, yes, rather than saying, I want I want this, I want this, I want this, and then getting to the creation of it and going, oh, but I don't want the pressure. <laughs> you know, I, I just wanted to turn up and the other team to fall over and for me to win. You know, I didn't want them to want to win as well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and that's the key for you too. When you're going to create something new and something big, you chose that journey. You know, you chose it. You chose it. It's what you're waiting for. Oh, but I didn't want that. You know, many of my coaches, uh, they get certified. Say, put your videos online. They put their first one up and they get some, some trolls, eh? This is crap, whatever. They go, oh. So if you want to change the world, you got to be ready, you know? you got to go for it. So... The first key, the first key, peace, peace. Knowing that you chose the journey. The first key is peace. Knowing this was your adventure, you chose. So you get to be in peace with what you've chosen. Everything that you are creating is in alignment with your internal systems. Peace, peace. You're at peace with it because it's your creation. You chose it and you wanted it. You wanted it. You're here creating, you, you chose it. You chose to create an amazing family. And part of creating an amazing family is your kids have to become teenagers. You chose to create a, an amazing uh, relationship. And so you've got to deal with another person. <laughs> that has their own things going on. You chose it. Of course, what do you mean, Rashada? Rashada says, does it include illness? You know, no, it, illness is a, is a separate thing. <laughs> it's everything. I chose to create this, this, and now I get to overcome it, hey? And, and I'm gonna stay peaceful. This is the first thing, is to stay peaceful in it is go, this was a creation. I'm going to say, oh, I'm here. Peace is the first thing, hey? Peace, becoming at peace with it. Becoming at peace with it.